to SciTech Tech. In this video, I'm going to go do a teardown of this old wind-up radio, and I want to see if there's any parts inside that are worth salvaging. And I'm going to show you how to do this in this video. Let's get started. As you can see right here, this part doesn't work, and this part here is to wind up the radio to give it power. And as you can see, it's stuck. I also tried to plug in the radio by DC power. It doesn't work. I tried putting batteries in it, and it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and I'm going to see if I can be able to salvage the components, or try to get it to work. Hmm. There we go. Oh, interesting. Very simple radio. You know what, I might still keep it as a radio. Looks like there's parts in here that may still work, like this tuning here. This as a radio. I'm not sure. Oh. Ah, here's the antenna piece. That could be interesting. There's a speaker. Oh, very easy. Uh, I can see that it was soldered on. The wire. Uh, I guess I'll just. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of the wires of this radio and I'm going to try to get this radio to work by connecting it to my lab bench power supply. So I'm going to go and cut all the wires, remove the insulation, and test each wire and see which one works. There we go, now the radio is free, and now I'm going to go ahead and attach the antenna so that way the radio can be able to pick up on a signal. Now I'm removing the insulation of all of these wires, so that way I can connect it to my lab bench power supply and see which wire works. It sounds like it does work. Ah, it does work. God's word offers <laughs> Okay, so it does work. So it does work. Uh, I could try to make it sound more clear and maybe play the music longer, but... You know, this is YouTube, and I don't want to, uh, uh, you know, get a copyright strike. So, that's pretty good. So I know this part works, so the radio part definitely works, which is very good. Now, am I going to keep this as a radio? I'm not sure. I like this antenna being so big, so there's a good chance I might turn, uh, make a theremin, possibly, and use this antenna as a theremin. Maybe. Or I can do some experiments with this radio. Or keep it as a radio. I'm not really sure. Don't really need a radio, but might keep it as a radio. Or there's a chance I might uh, take it apart and keep the variable capacitor that's for the tuning of the radio. Or the uh, potentiometer from the volume. 
or just salvage one of the components like capacitors and other little components that are inside. There's a chance I might do that, not sure, but for now I'm just going to keep this like it is for now. So that's interesting. At least it works and may have other future uses. Not sure, but we'll see. Now, what I'm curious about is how does this work? What does this look like? And why did it fail? The DC motor, that's something I might want to keep, since you know, DC motors can be useful. Oh! Okay. Glad that didn't blow up in my face. That would hurt. So that just got jammed, that's all it was. Let's see if I try again. It's busted. Keeps sticking. Wow! Oh, I can smell burnt plastic too. Whoa, that stinks. Wow, I'm so glad my finger wasn't there or anything. That would have been really bad. Yikes. Okay. It's spring loaded. It's spring dangerous. Well, I'm just gonna pull it apart. Okay, I'm okay. Hmm, gears. Plastic gears. Oh, I see. Probably was a problem. This belt here got tangled. The driver belt got tangled. And then it jammed it, and it broke. So that's why. That's what the problem might be. Well, this is kind of useless, but there's a chance I might do something interesting with these gears and this motor. Possibly make some kind of a device of some sort. Maybe a rotating table, perhaps. A miniature rotating table. With using this DC motor and these gears. That could, that could potentially be very useful. So, I don't know. I'll just keep these in a box separate and keep the DC motor where it is because I could possibly use it for like a rotating table. Something interesting like that. So I'll just put that here. Diode. There. Um, let me go and remove this. Ah, this can always be useful. A DC jack. Or I can connect some DC cables to it. Power supply, possibly, or whatever. Can always use one of these. Two. That two could be useful. Not really sure what to do with it, but I'll just keep it in my scrap pile. Now, the mystery is to take this part. Out. How shall I go about doing this? Okay. Uh, I think the problem might be inside of here, not the, the other part. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so here, a little gear, might keep that, somehow do something with it, but this I find very interesting. Oh, so that's how it worked. I use this metal coil here, I use this metal coil here as a spring mechanism. So when this rotates, it adds a lot of tension and it causes uh, elastical potential energy. Winding. When I do that, the pocket's a little bigger than mine, and then it just releases its energy. Interesting. Let's 
So when you rotate this here, when you rotate this here from this handle, by rotating it, yeah, definitely. Oh, this is very interesting. So then it rotates this, as you can see it turns that, which causes this metal coil here to create potential elastic energy. And then when released, it spins the crank drives and then spins the DC motor, which then generates electricity by using potential elastic energy. That's cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but looks kind of cool. Might do some kind of a... I don't know. I could do something with this. I'm not really sure what. Maybe make some weird looking slinky, or maybe since it comes out like that, maybe some weird uh, retractable staff, something, I don't know. Something interesting could be done with that. Out. Wow, that's heavy too. Huh. A weird metallic yo-yo. <laughs> oh boy, I think I regretted doing that. Hold on. Ooh, don't snap at me, don't snap at me. Eee. Oh boy, that edges are a little sharp. Oh good, I didn't cut myself. Alright, well, that's interesting. I have no idea what this is. Let's see. Ah, it's paramagnetic, so it's made of nickel or iron. Either nickel or iron. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do with this, but I bet I can do something interesting. Looks cool. This I really don't think I have any use for. handle might be useful for something, just to rotate, but other than that, yeah, I think I'll discard it. Okay, so there you have it, a teardown of this old wind-up radio that has some interesting parts that I may use for future projects. Not sure what though, but you know, as I am creative, I will come up with something really interesting. There's a good chance that either I'll take this radio apart and use the parts that are inside, or I'll just uh, use it as a radio because it's a radio. Uh, it works all from 9 volts, so that makes it very easy and compact by attaching a 9 volt battery somewhere. And this could be very portable and compact with a really big antenna. Or I might use this big antenna to make a theremin. There's many possibilities that can be done with a radio. If any of you guys have any interesting ideas of what I can do with this project, with this radio or any of these parts, please leave a comment down below. So yeah, there you have it. A teardown of this old wind-up radio. Thank you for watching SciTai Tech. I hope you learned something new, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTai Tech videos. Till the next tech. Goodbye.